two videos in one week what are the odds what's good welcome back to the channel today we are taking a look at rain dango or gold dango with some new tools out of the surging sparks format if you enjoyed today's video be sure to let me know in the comments below so let's take a look at the deck list so we've got a few new tools on the screen in case you're wondering what did it get out of surging sparks obviously gold dango is a 260 hit point stage one pokemon for one energy, discard as many basic energy from your hand. It does 50 for each you discard. Some of you have may, may never have picked up the deck prior to today. Some of you may be diehard Dango believers. It is a very interesting Pokemon. It also draws cards, so it's a two for one. I don't know why I've been sleeping on this card for so long, but a few of today's additions definitely make it worthwhile, and I hope you enjoy the gameplay. So moving along, we have Duskull. As everybody knows, it's the, really the only one. Dusk Noir. So once during your turn, you may put 13 damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. If you use this ability, the Pokemon's knocked out. So ideally, we're trying to skew prize trades. We're trying to take additional knockouts on top of the Make It Rain turn. We have our Togepi. When you play this card from your hand onto your bench, you may heal 10 damage. Not really there. They're all 50 hit points, unfortunately. So it is what it is. Togekiss. This is a lovely new card out of the Surging Sparks format. If you like to flip a few coins, this one's definitely for you. When you, your opponent's po active Pokemon is knocked out, flip a coin. If heads, take an additional prize. The effect does not stack. So we can take an additional prize if we knock out the active, maybe with Dust Skull, maybe with our Goldengo, and turn a 2 into a 3 or a 1 into a 2. Very nice in that regards, and it's bulky enough to not be returned KO'd by a Dust Skull. Or Dust Noir. Fezendipity. Flip the script. If they've knocked out a Pokemon the previous turn, we draw three cards. We're going to be trading KOs. We're trying to out-trade them as quickly as possible. Fezendipity allows us to get more combo piece. Radiant Greninja, discard an energy, draw two cards. We are playing a handful of energy, as you can tell, one of pretty much every type. So Greninja is pretty much live every single turn and is always getting us value. Manaphy, I am still in the believer that Kiram destroys this deck. Anything with bench sniping destroys all of our small little Pokemon. And I'm going to at least make you work for it. I know you have the answer, but I'm going to make you have all the combo pieces. Irida, search your deck for a water Pokemon and an item card, reveal them, put them into your hand. So we do have a large chunk of the deck being items, almost two full rows being items. So you're going to have quite a few targets, whether it's Buddy Poffins or Nest Balls or so on. And there's enough water po value in Radiant Greninja and Manaphy that you don't mind giving up a slot to go find it. Cypher Maniacs Code Breaking. Search your deck for two cards, shuffle your deck, put those two cards on the top of your deck in any order. So between Goldingo, Radiant Greninja, Pheasantipity, we can get, grab the exact two cards and ensure that we're drawing them off the first ability we want to run with. Boss's Orders. We're playing just one. Counter Catcher is nice. Um... Just swinging in the active is nice, but sometimes you have to go hunt what you need to finish off the game with. Roxanne, if your opponent has three or fewer prizes, each player shuffles their hand into their deck. You draw six, they draw two. Sometimes we are falling behind or we want to force them into that uh, three prize range. Roxanne is very good at allowing us to, again, reset and draw. So it's disruption and uh, reload. Superior energy retrieval. So this is how we'll be getting all of our energy back. Discard two cards grab up to four basic energy so again reloading the make it rain attack and this is probably the most efficient way to do so buddy poffin search for two basic pokemon with 70 hit points or less nest ball search for a basic pokemon put it on your bench mostly included here for radiant greninja pheasantipity but it's extra outs to our small little basic evolvers night stretcher doesn't do us any good putting the cards back into the deck so grabbing something straight from the discard pile putting it back into our hand very very useful so we're playing two two ultra ball discard two cards from your hand grab any pokemon Mostly our evolutions here, but again, additional outs for basics. Rare candy. So we need two of them because we need to evolve into either Togekiss, Dusk Noir, or rare instances, both. And this is the highlight. This is what makes it Rainbow Dango or Gold Dango on steroids. This ace spec here. Normally we've been playing Prime Catcher or something along those lines. This is the game changer. Search your deck for any number of basic energy cards of different types. Reveal them and put them into your hand. You can grab one energy of each type and put it into your hand. There are eight types in the standard format. You can grab eight different energy, doing potentially 400 or 350 damage with Gold Dango, and you are thinning a large portion of your deck out for more consistency, so you're not drawing into energy. It is incredible, that power turn. It is more impactful than a boss's orders many games, more impactful than a prime catcher. Because we're discarding energy, it's Earth and Vessel on steroids. Kasui and Heavy Ball, because there are a few crucial cards we can't afford to have in the prizes. Manaphy, Radiant Greninja, Pheasantipity. 
counter catcher say we fall behind earlier they take first ko we can then pick what we want to hunt and stay on that 222 prize race energy retrieval grab two energy pal pad put some supporters back in the deck super odd rare instance we need more than just one or two cards allows us to shuffle three in any combination back into the deck earthen vessel just grab two energy pokestop stop flip the top three cards of your deck any items you find you keep so be sure to stick around for the gameplay i have quite a few highlights in there and if you enjoyed today's video be sure to let me know what you want to see next on the channel i am taking suggestions it is good to be back if you are interested in today's deck list be sure to check out limitlesstcg.com this is where i find some of the interesting lists we modify shout outs to video game house for today's interesting deck list so we're going to try to call that first coin flip and see how it goes all right why am i not surprised oh well going first going second we have ways to come back we will make the best of whatever start we have the deck has been popping it has been flying you just need a couple basics and then you are off and you are rolling wait a minute tempting to play pokemon part two i swear we're going to show you something fun with goldango all we need is to win the coin flip do i want to go first absolutely did I speed up the game just to make it a little more enjoyable to watch? Absolutely. But we take what we can get. So we're going to go Nest Ball, grab a Radiant Greninja. We want to try to draw into as many basics as we can ahead of time. When you get up, get set up going first, you really can do some funny things. Although the, the biggest problem I have with this hand right now is I don't have that first attachment of the turn, whether it's going to the Gimme Ghouls or whether it's going to the Active. I don't play physical switch cards, so I do need to attach the first turn. Everybody, for the most part, is a one retreat. Uh, looks like we're playing against Dragapults. It's not the worst matchup. They can be a little dicey with the Devo plays and the Radiant Kazam if they're playing that. The Dusk Noir are definitely the first priority when it comes to getting things off this board. Okay, so I want to go in and grab the Dusk Noir and see if I can go for some sort of Donk situation. Well, pseudo Donk. Uh, I don't see the Dusk Noir in there, so we're just going to push for our setup and try to draw some early prizes so we have double dango that's not bad we have the option to draw two cards if we want or we can push a little harder i think there's nothing wrong with just pushing and since we're wiping the dusk off the board any of our small basics will be you know there i don't see any three bs at the moment so we've got a, a safer lead so we'll take that first ko try to see if we can fish dust and more out of the prizes um okay togepi works that means we can start taking extra prizes if things go as planned. Iono, thank you kindly. Dreepy, Buddy Poffin. So now they're into the game. We've got the first prize. They're into the game. They've got about one more prize that they can try to start making things up. That's okay. I don't think they know we're playing the Togepi yet, but we don't have it on the board. So again, it's going to take another minute or so. So we'll grab the Togepi. We've shown our hand. We're grabbing all the energy. We're just really thinning, really trying to get my hands on some sort of... I would realistically love to get my hands on boss's orders. Oh, yeah, there's boss. Um, we're just going to coin bonus. We're going to thin. We're going to really go. We can't, again, set up any of those stage twos yet. So we'll put the boss back and a cypher. We don't need Roxanne because I think we'll be the aggressor of this game for the rest of it. Just discard four energy. So far, so good. The deck looks like magic when it runs this hot right so now potentially we can close out next turn either through the dust noir or the togekiss take your pick what are the odds they can deal with both or know to deal with both i mean you need a little bit of luck with the, the togepi but they can't be thinking what we're thinking right so it's pick your poison right you got to hit the dango and you've got to go with one of the two so we shall see um Oh, that was a rough one. No Pheasantipity. Recon Directive. Normally when they set up, it is a closer matchup. But that first turn, like that's how fast the game is right now. Is how quickly can you just build that lead. One turn is all you need with how large the format is and how fast everything's going. So they're still doing all right. I thought we took out, yeah. Say we did take out their, uh, their V target. So they've got a couple guys on the bench. And I can either Dusk, all, Dusk Noir, blow up something on the bench, knock out Dragapult, or we can get into some silliness and <laughs> try to swing for broke 
on the Dragapult with the Togekiss. Let's see, what can we do? Rare Candy, Rare Candy. There we go. We got double Rare Candy. So now both are an option. We can go for it. So, Gus Noir. Am I getting a little greedy here? Yeah. I want to see if I can get us the highlight reel moment. That's what I'm thinking here. This, maybe I forgot that we could, you know, win the game on that, that next attack, but not overly like punished for it because of how much of a commanding lead we've got going on here. Energy retrieval. We just need to get four energy. One, two, three, four. Grab a couple more. Might be a little overkill. Um, <laughs> am I swinging for the fences here? Yeah. Just in case we miss that coin flip. Heads, wonder kiss, flip a coin. Ah, okay. Should have won. That coin is definitely not lucky. Uh, okay, so we're at a five to one lead. It's doing well. Pretty much close out next turn. Didn't get to show off the, I mean, I know that I could have now, in the hindsight, I know that I could have uh, Dust Noir, hit the bench, you know, pop seven energy, taking game that way. But I don't think we're gonna get punished for it that much. And with having all of the coin bonuses on the board and your focus stops, the only thing I need are energy. I have the boss in hand. I only need two energy. As long as they can't knock out both or hit me with a Devo play. A Devo play could be problematic if they move. Uh, if, if they had it, the Devo play, you go move two Dango from the bench to the active Devo, knock out both of them, then really force me to have more combo pieces. But when you've got this much draw on the board, Cypher, We'll grab Superior, and yeah, there we go. Let's get get another one in. We're going to see if we can get some more shenanigans going. So your opponent goes decides who goes first. Okay, these are ones where all, as long as you get a basic, a couple basics, you're good to go. Please be champ pal. Please be champ pal. Uh, okay, so we got Gimme Goal. That, like, look at this hand. It might not look like a builder hand, but you have so much search in here. I mean might want a Luminion. I I'm okay with this. Like, not having to worry about starting it or being a victim later in the game. I'm fine with that. So we got the Buddy Poffin to grab two Pokemon. We got a Nest Ball to grab our Radiant Greninja. So, just thin it out. At this point, I want non-Pokemon related things. So I'm thinning out as much as I humanly can. So then I can potentially draw a Cypher or an Irida or... There we go. Look at that. Never punished. So, Cypher, let's guarantee our next turn. Um, a gold dango, and then, yeah, I'll take, I'll take double dango at this point, because then I can start swinging the following turn. No point in attaching right now. Um, oh, shit, are we gold dango mirror? Let's go! Okay, now we get the rainbow versus rainbow. Ultimate of J, you have no idea how happy this makes me to be playing against. You didn't see this in Stellar Crown or Shrouded Fable. Like, the fun decks were nowhere to be found as you climb the ranks. It was all just one or two decks. It was Raging Bolt and Regidrago and Lugia. All the boring vanilla crap that you'd normally see. But I've been seeing Serluge. I've been seeing Gold Dango. I've been seeing, you know, some Raging Bolt, some Charizard. People are trying stuff again. And I think that's good for the game. So, let's see. We have some cutesy to tools. They have the Scyther Scizor combo. Any Iron Bundle. So we're playing two different ways to play Rainbow Dango. And we're going to see which one kind of prevails. Win or lose, I would I'd be putting this game in because, you know, we show. So we're, we're going to keep this one. Uh, okay, now we got both. Get the Pheasantipity. Let's start digging. Okay. Uh, we'll get that first KO, but that's not the cleanest. Like, where is... I'm looking for Cypher. I don't think I'm going to get Cypher this turn. No. Uh, okay, so I got three in the discard pile, three in hand. I do not have enough to get the KO this turn on the big guy. That means I got to go for a one, which doesn't feel good. Maybe I'll take out the Scyther so he can't upgrade on me later, or she, I don't know, um, to knock out. Okay, now we're even. He's going to take the knockouts on me, but I do have the potential to come back and skew the trade back to where I want it. 
a Roxanne would also be really nice. Like, what do you go for here? Do you go for the Goldengo? Do you go for the Pheasantipity? Like, they're both two prizers. Both of them are... Oh, Goldengo's going to be trying to hit you in the face. But, okay, now they're drawing a ton of cards. We're drawing a ton of cards. Neither of us are in Roxanne, Roxanne range. Would you just burn the Delibird, the Iron Bundle at this point? No. Because that's screwing with your setup. Like, maybe late game, yeah, but I like, wouldn't have benched that if, if I didn't have to, or I'd dump it as quickly as possible. Because it is, it's messing with your setup. I have three, four support Pokemon and two attackers on the board right now, and he's got three. Okay, so board comps are roughly the same. Why don't you if they gave Goldengo a Terra Trace? Like, just retype it. Pick the same one and give it a Psychic Goldengo. You know, when Gardevoir maybe loses a step. And then you just go from that. But, yeah, now we get to combo off. So, let's have at her. We go get another Gimme Ghoul. Now our bench is nice and clear. I got a Chain Attackers. Okay, so let's go Cypher. Uh, rare Candy. And, oh, so we only have one Rare Candy. Let's go Energy Search Pro to make sure I get everything I need. So we'll go Fez. We'll get all the energy. Not, not quite as much as they popped. But we've got a loaded hand here. And then, why is the Greninja... I hate when the Greninja doesn't comp like that. You have to actually go in for it. You know? Live, fix your game. Um, okay, so we need six energy. We have about seven there. Make sure my math isn't off. So we save one. Preferably the metal energy. And then take knockout. And then coin flip. Wonder kiss, wonder kiss, wonder kiss. Yes! Yes! Okay. Now we got a three prize turn. We are back in the lead. And there's no Briar plays coming from them. So, <laughs> so far, so good. And we thinned out the deck quite a bit. What do you do? That supporter, Cyrano, three Pokemon EX and put them into your hand. Is that a new card from the set? Like, I really feel like I'm behind the eight ball. Like, that seems like a really good card. But at the same time, where do you find the room for it? Where? Okay, so we have the Goldingo, we have the Fez, we have the Pokestop. We can potentially win on Knockout. If they promote Goldingo, we can win on Knockout. If they run with the Scizor, we can win on a coin flip. Which doesn't feel the best, but we can still find a way to win. Or, oh no, 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 we only have one rare candy in deck. So we can't win that way. So, okay, so they're discarding. How many abilities do we have in play? One, two, three, four. Nope, they can't take knockout with Scyther so, or Scizor, so it will be a gold angle closeout. All right, let's dig. Let's draw a metric ton of cards and show how much of a live Roxanne is. Come on, let's go. Make it rain. Six. Yeah, very nice, very nice. Appreciate the cheese man love. And so then we are going to really just start digging. Last rare candy's hiding in there. And then Pokestop. And then we are gonna run Big Cheese. Okay. Uh, <laughs> can't use Cypher. Nope. Uh, okay. Okay, now we got a gamble. So we're going to superior energy retrieval. We're going to grab four energy. And we are going to make sure or hope, hope that one of the two cards we draw in our seven card deck is another superior. Oh, never punished. Four sequencing all day. Never punished. Okay. So we have six. We have game. And we get to do a Togekiss coin flip. Enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think of the deck list. Give it a whirl. It's in the comments below. Cheers.